Can you hear me, Papa? I heard you. Hello babes, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, June 24th. I wanna, I wanna pop on here and start the vlog. It's been a minute. Um, so I'm gonna get on my soapbox for just, just, just a little, just a little bit, just, just a little while. Um, I got a message from someone saying that my last video, my little grief chat, really helped her to not only acknowledge, but close the final chapter of where she was in her grief journey. And messages like that mean the world to me. I don't think that I really convey just how much it takes for me to come on here and be as vulnerable as I am. There's times where... You know, I'll, I'll post a more vulnerable video being really open and I'll instantly have the thought to delete it because I'm like, oh, this is too vulnerable. This is too personal. This is too personal. But messages like that is why I will always come on here and show up as myself and show up transparent and with my heart on my sleeve. I have been in such a good place. And when I say a good place, that's not to say that I'm not ex experiencing any turbulence um that's not to say that i'm not uncomfortable as hell with where i am in my life right now but it's to say that i'm okay with it the past couple of weeks i've just been doing some major soul fishing and baby i've been catching some shit the place that i'm in right now at 24 years old is the most authentic i've ever been in my entire life the longer you try to hold on to a past life or a past self who you were in that time the people that were in your life at that time the longer you try to hold on to things that no longer align with where you are and where you're going the longer it's gonna suck and i talked about it a couple of vlogs ago of just mourning my youth and feeling like and just feeling this huge like emptiness and just just feeling so full of grief for who I was and the shit that I allowed and the people that I had in my life at that time and just everything about the life that I was living. I definitely would say that I feel like I'm living a, a different life right now. I'm so grateful for where I am. I'm at a place where I am fully accepting and standing in the fact that I have no control over things that happen and i used to really look at things as oh this happened to me this happened to me this person did this to me no no this happened for me and that person showed me exactly what they showed me and i chose to see differently i'm really i'm in a place where i am 1000 percent taking responsibility for the part that i play in my own suffering and I think that that's a really big step that gets missed in people's healing journeys. And I feel like before I fully accepted that, I was at such a standstill with where I was. But when you can look at you, not someone else, when you can look at you and say, you have shit to work on and then actively work on those things that is when you truly begin to grow that's when you truly start to blossom and i feel like i am a blossoming bitch right now i'm coming to y'all from such a luminant place but that's not to say that i am also not experiencing turbulence i'm so fucking uncomfortable in my life right now y'all like i truly feel like i'm shedding when you finally say I'm going to stand in who I am unapologetically, so authentically, I'm going to show up as me 
all the time and not only am i going to show up as me i'm going to love the fuck out of myself in the process it's like instant clarity now that i am 100 percent myself and truly walking on my path of alignment i feel like now i see all the things that i was holding on to that didn't align and it's like no wonder i wasn't moving forward in my growth and my healing no wonder the universe was sending me like the same person in different fonts and i had to look at the things that i wanted in the people in my life i'm huge on somebody being able to communicate i'm huge on somebody being able to take accountability and then when i looked at myself and how i was showing up in different situations in my life and with different people in my life because truthfully when you're someone that is raw when you're someone that's authentic when you're someone that's going to keep it real you're going to have issues with the people in your life you're going to have conflict because you're standing in your truth and when you stand in your truth you're not always going to get along you're not always going to agree with everything that the people that you love say and so you're going to find yourself having conflict you're gonna find yourself being labeled the drama bitch i'll be the drama all day i have no problem being the drama i feel like i've always been the drama because i'm going to tell you how i feel but long story short you know i i do find myself having conflict with people in my life that i love um and not in a bad way but just in a way of i'm going to communicate and i expect you to communicate back and i expect you to take accountability the way that i'm taking accountability um but i just had to look at myself and i was like but you're not even doing these things that you're asking of others in your life why would the universe send people with these attributes that i'm asking for when i myself am not being a reflection of that really some deep shit that i have been going into so i'm just gonna end it here i'm gonna hop off my soapbox at five o'clock right now i just got back from some much needed retail therapy with Haley. i went to get coffee and then we went to sephora and ulta so i'll show you guys what i got from there and then later tonight i'm going to deja's birthday party with Char. well it's not a birthday party it's gonna be like a cute little like section moment so tonight should be fun um i'll probably i'll try and pop on here and show you guys an outfit of the night i'm not taking my camera to the club because bitch i don't need to be responsible for anything else i think it's gonna be kind of a chill vibe though so we'll see but yeah y'all just want to pop on here and start the vlog say hey I hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are following your heart loving to the fullest i hope you guys are finding success and happiness and peace and joy and all of the good things so first i'll show y'all what i got from sephora because i ended up only getting one thing and i found this on accident so i made like a birthday wish list and this was one of the things that was on it i've never smelled this in person I watched a TikTok on it months and months ago, never smelled it in person, and then today I came across it, and y'all, 1000% am sure this is going to be my signature scent. Like, this is going to be the scent that when my kids think about their childhood, they're going to think of this. So this is the Kayali Burning Cherry, or the Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry Perfume. When I say I can't even really describe the smell, it's just grown, it's sexy. These are the notes. I definitely get the Palo Santo and it's so low key though. Like it's not like Palo Santo, like you smell Palo Santo and you know that's Palo Santo. It's so sneaky with the cherry. Like if y'all have not smelled this, definitely recommend it was worth every last damn penny so pick that up from sephora Haley got the apple one i think it's apple pie or something like that that one smelled just as good as this one but it was obviously not cherry vibes more appley vibes and then i just got things that i kind of just needed to re-up on so i got these cotton pads i've never tried the ulta ones i usually get them from target but i mean same, same. So I use these with micellar water, which I discovered today that La Roche Posay has a micellar water. So I'll definitely be checking that out once I run out of the one that I have right now. I ran out of this this morning and I literally cannot live without this. 
y'all this is such a good sunscreen and i feel like after this i might try a different one i know la roche has one that's really good and it's a higher spf so i might give that one a try i just love this one because i've been using it with my moisturizer under my makeup and i feel like it's just made it so smooth um and i just feel like also it's just done wonders for my skin in general so this is a really good sunscreen i definitely recommend it it's pricey as hell but it's lasted me about two months you are supposed to reapply your sunscreen but i ain't doing all that i needed a new purse lotion so i ended up getting this one the hemp's blackberry and lemongrass i'm obsessed with lemongrass right now it's probably my favorite essential oil to be honest but this smells amazing so i'm gonna put that in my purse i really wanted the elf i mean pff, the elf i really wanted the refi primer but it's sold out everywhere right now so i just picked this up and the last thing i'm super excited about it's the coast rx advanced snail mucin so once my acne heals that i have right now i'm going to introduce this to my skin and see how it does so yeah i'll keep you guys updated hi y'all happy sunday we're with sophia Jesus Christ. on another adventure with sophia we have trader joe's trader joe's very green juice and also water where are we going, rag. Sophia? We are going to the museum. If we're going to the museum, Sophia needs extra credit. Well, she doesn't need it. She just wants no, it because I, she... I have two missing inside. <laughs> Sophia needs the extra credit, so we're going to get the extra credit. Cheers. Also, we're in the chicken grease era, I guess. Chicken grease era and stress acne era. That's where we are today. We can take a physical cup and put it underneath oh my, my boobs right now and collect at least 10 gallons. 10 gallons of boob sweat Ooh. is being produced a minute. Is it lip gloss or sweat? We don't know at this point. Sophia's never had a corn dog. These are hot. Am I trying it? Yeah. Mine's really hot. They're both hot. The bread is good. The bread is good. The bread is good, Sophia says. Oh, there it is. Cheers, Sophia. Peace. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy grocery day. So we're gonna do a quick haul. We're gonna start with Trader Joe's. I went to Trader Joe's earlier. So picked up some pasta sauce. Obsessed with these rolled corn tortilla chips, the chili and lime. They're basically like takis but less messy and more lime flavored love this bread if it lasted longer i would probably buy a lifetime supply i haven't bought this rice in a while but i just wanted to pick it up for easy meal prep this week this bear bells brand is really good um so my favorite one is the salty peanut i think this is the one that tastes like a snickers and then of course i picked up some juice and shots so i just got two of these ginger shots a couple of the green juices which i love these they're way sweeter than you'd think and then i also picked up two of these carrot juices which not sure why i never discovered that i like carrot juice but these are really good lots of produce this week from sprouts I got cilantro organic hot house tomatoes picked up these organic peaches Y'all know I usually try and do loose fruits and vegetables so I can avoid the plastic packaging. But the loose peaches they had today were already pretty soft. I don't really plan on eating these for a day or two. So just pick this up. Organic ground beef, bacon, chicken thighs, the lunch meat that Brayden likes to do. Got some spaghetti, shredded cheese sourdough because we're back in the avocado toast era one poppy today 
picked up this tea. I've never tried this one, but I'm all out of my sleepy time tea. So I'll let y'all know how that one is. I've been loving the Siete taco seasoning, so I got two of those. Some limes. If y'all don't get anything else organic, get organic limes. And these are the best ones from Sprouts. We got three onions, avocados for avocado toast. Also picked up the prettiest heirloom tomatoes for avocado toast. Bell peppers, garlic, a couple jalapeno, and then a watermelon. So yeah, that's our little haul. So I came home yesterday and I walk into these. Brayden picks the most beautiful flowers for me. And I like to think that he picks these bouquets with me in mind. So I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ginger shot, which she doesn't want to focus today, but my ginger shot and drink my very green juice, both from Trader Joe's. I'm actually fasting this week for spiritual reasons. I feel like I need the universe to know that I am dead ass about the things that I'm asking for. Not much plan for today. I'm gonna go over to my mom's in a little bit to see my niece, which I got her the cutest little outfits from Target. So these are the little jumpers that I got her. I think they were both, yeah, they were both $10. This one I got in 12 months, which I thought, oh, they're both 12 months. Why did I get 12 months? I wanted to get 18 months. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess she'll be able to wear these now. I thought I got them in 18 months, so she could wear them for a while. Um, she'll be one, August 11th. It's crazy because my niece and my sister literally have the same birthday. Um, but yeah, so she's gonna look so cute in those. Happy way! Yeah! Do you like it? Do you like it? What about this one? Do you like this one? Balloons? Aubrey, do you like this one? You like it? What about this one? Pretty? Yeah, you like it? You're such a Leo. Why such a Leo? She love a camera. She love a camera. Say bye bye.